Hello everyone, right, uh, not a video that's massive in duration, but something that I need to cover really. Um, people are aware I've got two bikes, I've got a full suspension and I've got a hardtail. And then a lot of people ask me, well why have you got a hardtail when you've got a full suspension? I actually prefer riding my hardtail. Um, full suspension, down the trail, absolutely amazing. But it's a bit of a magic carpet ride, it's smooth and sometimes, I mean, it can be exhilarating obviously um, because you're taking riskier lines, you're doing steeper stuff, uh, you can brake a lot quicker, it grips a lot more, but does it make it more fun? Does it make it more exciting? No. If we look, if we look at the hardtail and we basically look at how aggressive, how aggressive it is and it's designed to do what that's designed to do. Possibly a bit slower, but again, so much more fun. But yeah, I mean, you could kill a trail, you could kill your trail system, and Clent Hills is the trail system that we've been on the most. Um, we've absolutely destroyed every trail to the point where it gets a bit of a slog going. Jump on the hard tail, everything's exciting again. So I'm going to take it on the trails now, just do a quick talk and probably do deep wood and something like that and uh, we'll have a bit of a discussion after. Why I love my hard tail, well I've got a perfectly good full suspension bike sitting in my workshop which are absolutely awesome for these trails. Why would I choose to pick up a hardtail? Well, one of the reasons, one of the many reasons, I've got a love fixation to my hardtail. Always have to. And I don't know why. I can't put my finger on it. You are right? You what? You chain come off? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Is your clutch on by any chance? Yeah. Nope. Is it not? Let the mechanic do it for oh, you. Sure. There you go, Ben Law. What are you doing, young man? Silly me. How about doing that to get the chain on? There we go. Oh, no. Let the bike mechanic sort it for you. And that, people, is why we need a clutch. Ben, I was halfway through my editorial on why I love hardtails. <laughs> and you, you stopped it. Oh, no. To be continued on the next oh, trail. Let's <laughs> red. Let's go. Why I love my hardtail, part two. Okay. <laughs> Try not to have a mechanical. <laughs> okay, why I love my hardtail. Well, why I love not any hardtail, why I love the aggressive hardtail. I don't normally fall for the old uh, trends in the bike, but there's something to be said about aggressive hardtails. 65 degree head angle. Uh, this particular Thunder transmitter has got 420 chain stays, which is not as short as you can get, but that's good because the extra 5mm will make it a little bit more stable. And it's like that. Again, they're not going to be as quick as you. Full suspension bike over the roots, but every bit of the trail comes alive. Oh, this is dusty. I'm just eating Ben Lars dust here. <laughs> They're just brilliant. As you can see, I'm not too far behind Ben. So, if your mates have all got full suspension, you can't afford one. Grab a hard trail, aggressive hard trail, half the price. Gentiles, look at all the rubbish. Absolutely disgusting. Absolute bunch of tramps. So, so how did you find your climb? Alright. Alright? Yeah, yeah, you were quick on that. Because it's a hard time, mate. And hard tail's rule. It's always gonna be easier climbing on a hard tail without that suspension bobbing up and down. Another reason to buy one if you might have all got full suspensions or an aggressive hardtail. 
<laughs> so if you can't keep up downhill, you'll definitely be able to keep up uphill. Up, 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 up. <laughs> you buy a hard tail, I recommend that you get plus size tyres. I've got 2.6s, which aren't really plus size, but I've got them on 40 mil rings, so it's expanded. Really squares the edge out. This is just <laughs> But it also takes a sting out the tail. If you if you run low pressure, which I'm not today. So I wanted to do more of the uh, more of the uphill, keeping up with Ben Lark on the uphill bits. But it eats these these local trails up. Wow, it's dusty. And obviously the 2.6 tyres are better in the dusty conditions like this. I literally had my mouth open like a mouth breather and took a full on branch in the mouth. <laughs> I mean, come on, mate. I weren't too far behind you. I'm on a hard tail. Come on. Oh, the next bit is uh, one of our favourite trails, Rookie Bit. Now, on a hard tail, you have to pick your lines. As we're the full sus, you can plow over it. Last time I did that on a hardtail, I had quite a nasty accident. I was very, very lucky. I had to land on the side of the tree. So Ben and I get down first. That's three times we've been down here. It's been walkers. So you have a pump of roots. Just here. We've got a hardtail. Here you go. It's awful. Normally I'd go down there. But again, on a hardtail. I'm going to pick your line. I play well over these normally. Okay. Nope, you guys. Just got there. Far behind you? No, no. no. Well, I hope that video gives you food, food for thought. Um, and don't fall for the bike trends. You know, just because a full suspension are a lot more money than your hard tails, doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna be more fun or better for the trails that you ride them on. If I wanna to go to the Forest of Dean and I've only got a hard tail, that's brilliant. I'm used to the hard tail. I'm gonna enjoy the trails of the Forest of Dean. I might not be taking the downhill sections as quick, but it's still gonna be just as fun. You're still riding your bike. So that's the moral of the story. You don't have to spend a lot of money to get on your bike. Hardtails are awesome. Equally full suspension are awesome. What do I prefer? And that's what it comes down to. What do you think you prefer? What we haven't covered are basically the maintenance on the hardtail. There's hardly any, you know? You've got wheel bearings. You've got your chain to degrease on the full suspension. You've got all these pivot bearings that can go wrong. You've got a lot more that can go wrong on a full suspension than a hardtail. And especially in the UK, a lot better for winter riding. Um, if you're going to get a hardtail, here's a tip. Just make sure external bottom bracket, easy maintenance. And again, they're absolutely bulletproof. They are fantastic. I recommend a hardtail over a full source any day, especially if it's your first bike.